Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of React WooCommerce theme with REST API. Uh, before we move on to creating a cart page, uh, let's get on to adding the basic theme styling and typography. So let's begin with adding the fonts. So when we are dealing with Tailwind CSS, how do we add fonts? So that's what we're going to talk about in this video. So the first thing you can do is if it's a Google font, then you can go on to this Google fonts uh, web. You can go on to Google web fonts helper and then you can search for the font that you want. For instance, I want the font Lato. So I'll put Lato over here. I'll click on that and then I can select whichever font I want. I want the 300. I want the 900. Uh, if I want the 700, so you can select whichever you want. And once you do that, as you can see that it automatically generates this code for you, right? And in case if your fonts are in a different directory, you can add this URL. And as, as you change this URL, notice that it's also going to change that over here. Okay, uh, let's for instance, if I put that, so you can see that it has changed the URL like that, right? So you can select the fonts and you can copy this. You can click on like that and you can copy it and then you can paste it. Uh, apart from that, you can also download the font files locally. And it's always recommended to use local fonts rather than the fonts directly from the site uh, because local, first of all, when you download it local, then it's way faster and you don't have the issue of fout. Okay, so I have already done that. So what you can do is you, you can create a folder called fonts inside of the source directory and inside of that, uh, you put all of the fonts after downloading the zip file, you extract it and you put that all of this here like I've done. I've selected 700, 900, 900 italic, regular, you can choose what you like. Then create a font.css file and whatever you've got over here, you can copy that at this point. Since my fonts are in the same directory, I don't really need to add any prefixes so I can just get rid of that like so. And now you can see that it has removed any of the folder prefixes because my fonts are actually in the same directory as my where we're using the fonts.scss file. Okay, so that's what you do. Once you do that, you just need to import this file inside of your style. So you go over here, go to index.scss because that's going to be applied on all of the pages uh, on your entire site. So you put that dot dot because notice that the fonts directory is outside of the styles. That's why we do dot dot and then we reach out to fonts, which is this, and then we reach out to fonts.scss. So that's how you import it. Uh, once you've imported, there's just one more thing you need to do, is, which is basically go to your Tailwind config file. So as you can see that I'm inside of my Tailwind config file and go to theme extend. Ignore all of these colors, font size, spacing, line height, all of that. We'll come back to that later in the next video. But notice that I've added this property called font family. And inside of this object, I've added all of the fonts uh, from here, right? So whatever name you provided, let's say you put Lato over here. So you put Lato here and then you can name it what you want. So in our case, just keep it similar to what's already there just for consistency as well as keeping it semantic. So use the Lato over here then for the bold, which is this one, so it's Lato bold. Uh, for that, you use Lato bold over here and then name it like that. So when you're trying to access this font, when you're trying to apply the font to a particular element, you just say something like font Lato bold. So that's how you apply it. If you want to apply this one, you just say font Lato. That's to the element that you want to apply to, okay? And then notice that we're also passing the fallbacks. These are, you know, browser default fall fallbacks in case if Lato doesn't exist for some reason, it does have some default fonts. So I'm doing that for all of these. Um, so we have heavy, we have heavy italics. So we have heavy, we have heavy italic as well, right? I think we need to get rid of that. We don't need it. Okay. All right, so that's that. And then when you want to apply it, go to the front end. And let's say this is my element. 
and let's say this is my h6 and i want to apply a heavy font so see what happens so right now it's font bold i'll get rid of that font lato heavy i see that it's become heavy and now notice that font lato heavy class has been applied automatically by tailwind and lato heavy is been applied here if you want to change it again make it bold so notice that we have lato bold also over here so let's try that let me zoom in a little bit so lato bold so now you can see that bold has been applied and that's what you see over here right and now let's try heavy italic heavy italic so you can see that now the heavy italic has been applied all right so that's how you can play around with the font you can apply it to any of the elements um, in this case let's say heading and then accordingly your fonts will appear on your site all right so i hope you did like the video if you did please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and do consider joining our membership plan it has a lot of perks and i'm gonna see you in the next video thank you very much bye bye